Hey, it's a good day, everyone. This is Sports Tonight News. I'm Joe Borg, and this is going to be a quick video reacting to the Flyers and Carolina game that they were able to squeak away against the best team in hockey with a 2-1 to -one win due to Kata Hot playing a fantastic game and being all three stars of the game, and then a great bounce pass from Launch there to Joel Fairby, and Zach McEwen, who's been playing like a bat out of hell really well for the fourth line. Yes, for my analytics people, the fourth line doesn't look the best analytically, but they do all those small things Right, and all the stuff you want, the grunt work, I guess is the way to say, of a hockey game that you need to have just as much as you need to have the scoring. We see all these good teams that go deep in the playoffs do that grunt, small stuff right. McEwen does that, the hitch, the uh, block shots, the um, putting his stick in the way, all that, etc., etc. He gets rewarded for the great effort and the um, absolute just bull mentality that guy plays with each night, finally getting a goal here. In his Flyers career, the first of his Flyers career, which of course ended up being the game winning goal, so it couldn't be a bigger first goal to have of your career as well. And what really happened in this game, um, Chris Mayer, Flyers fan mania, definitely check him out. He does great stuff for uh, Flyers nitty gritty covering games as well. Um, I'll link his channel at the end of this video, but you have the Flyers got outshot 28 to 40. Carter Hart is the main reason they won this game. But the Flyers did win the third period. In the third period, like even like Jonesy said, they didn't win, obviously. The second period, again, now shot 15-7, to seven, but it looked like you were making inroads. You were getting better chances, and stuff was moving towards your direction. Then in the third, they did win that period out, shooting them 15-12. to 12. And sometimes when you have that good of a goaltender, you have the guy that was one of the... Canadian goaltenders coming out, came up quickly, you started hearing the price comparisons, well now, obviously we saw it early on, he had a little bump in the road like any good goaltender has, including Carey Price, and now Carter Hart's back to being the absolute goat we all expected him to get back to, well most people expected him to get back to, and he's showing up and showing out, and he's the main reason the Flyers won that game. But the other reason is they kept grinding. They found a way to win the third period after not being as good in the first two, minus the inklings of starting to get it going your way, like Jonesy pointed out in the second. So this was a good Carter Hart-led win by the Philadelphia Flyers, and they were able to close out the game. Sometimes the Flyers don't have the best closeout in this game. Their best period was the closeout in the third that was able to get them the lead and win the game for Carter Hart. So everybody have a great, safe, and pleasant day. I'll be covering the Reading Royals again for Flyers Nitty Gritty tonight. Uh, definitely uh, check that game out. You can go subscribe at Flow Hockey or listening on ReadingRoyals.com where Dylan Coyle does a wonderful job of calling the game. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.